July was a great month for mobile gaming and saw some really awesome releases. GameRanks bringing you the top 10 best free iOS and Android games of July 2015. Number 10 is Million Arthur, an extremely unique futuristic retelling of the King Arthur lore. Million Arthur is an RPG card battler. It's not the deepest card battler to have ever existed, but it's enjoyable and it's more than competent. It's good, very good even. There aren't a lot of new ideas and it is online only because it is multiplayer. But even if the gameplay was nothing more than generic, and it's not, like I said, it's actually good. Future King Arthur's worth it, it's fun. Number nine, Cloud Path. If you liked Crossy Road or the other games that Catch App has put out, you should probably give Cloud Path a try. Cloud Path, very much like Crossy Road, takes a specific mechanic and does it really good. In Cloud Path, you tap right to move forward among the path and you tap left to jump up or down steps. Sounds really simple, but it gets tough because you start wanting to do it quicker. Catch App named their company appropriately because these apps just sort of grab you. They're so easy to pick up, but they're so hard to master and they're fun. Number eight, Samurai Blitz. Now I know you're probably thinking, oh, another endless runner. Nope. Samurai Blitz is a game that is filled with a massive amount of depth and it is a ton of fun. You can jump and slash and other than the fact that you don't really ever stop running, running endlessly, it feels much more like a frenetic action platformer than it does a mobile game. It's got gorgeous pixel art graphics, very, very balanced gameplay, and it's addictive as all hell. Number seven, Callie's Caves 3. If you need a game that's a little bit more of a traditional action platformer, this is more up your alley. It's got really great old school, kind of Japanese inspired graphics. It looks and feels a lot like a Super Nintendo game, and that's fantastic. That makes me incredibly happy because I love the Super Nintendo. Kelly's got a great move set and weapon set. There's a hefty amount of pretty varied levels, both in theme and gameplay. And it's worth playing for more than just the nostalgia of a game that would be at home on Super Nintendo. Kelly's Caves 3 rules. Number six, Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dokkan Battle is another card battle game that has some puzzle elements, some board game elements, and tap gaming elements. The story is delivered to you via quest mode in an interactive manga comic. Knowing the history of the Dragon Ball Z video game, they're not always that great, to a completely different kind of game, it's cool. And if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, it's a highly recommended game. If you're not, you may not completely understand what's going on, but I mean, it's still cool. Number five, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. When people found out that this game was being remade, it kind of pissed some people off. I've mentioned rose-colored glasses in a different way in this video. However, when talking about this remake, I think it's even more appropriate. Gabriel Knight was a bit more adult-oriented. It had mature themes and was slightly seedier than other point-and-clicks. A lot of people weren't happy about the upgraded 3D graphics, but if you look at it, it kind of looks a little bit like earlier Resident Evil. A little bit more colorful, but yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to buck that trend and say it's really worth playing. Number four, Civ Miner. Now, when Tasked with making a clicker or a tapper that's actually unique, what would you do? I'll be honest, I have no idea. The creator of Civ Crafter already figured this out, and they decided, well, you know, I should probably do another one, because why not? Civ Miner once again borrows from the Minecraft aesthetic, which is obviously not particularly unique, but the gameplay itself is where it shines. It feels like a really worthwhile puzzle game. Try it. Number three, Alpha Bear. Alpha Bear is basically a word game. You use letters to make words, and as you do that, it exposes more of the game board. The idea is obviously to fill the game board with bears as opposed to letters. It sounds very simple, and as a concept, maybe it is, but the game itself is not. It is, however, as with most word games, very, very, very addictive. This game will waste tons of your time in the absolute best way, and it will do it while making you think. Mm. Number two, Mountain Goat Mountain. To bring up Crossy Road or even Qbert is an appropriate comparison to make when it comes to Mountain Goat Mountain. Except for this version of it is probably one of the prettiest versions of it, and it has a large variety of very, very different environments for you to traverse as a goat. Goats are funny. I can't complain about the game being centered around a goat. In fact, I really can't complain about this. Zynga actually got it pretty right this time around. I enjoyed this a great deal. And finally, number one, Angry Birds 2. Now, there have been a lot of Angry Birds games. Don't act like this is the only sequel to it, but it is the definitive sequel to it. Angry Birds 2 takes everything that Angry Birds did and builds upon it in a logical and enjoyable fashion. Not only does it look like it was built in UB framework, which is, by the way, pretty high praise, but it's also a gorgeous game in its own right, which is not something you can really say about any Angry Birds game, or really many mobile games. This is the definitive Angry Birds. It's free, play it. Other really cool mobile games that came out in July of 2015, Agario, which is a pretty addictive and weird puzzle game, Song Pop 2, a music trivia game which will no doubt start fights at parties, and Tap Quest Gatekeeper, which is a really fun tap action game. All three definitely worth a shot and worth your time. 
If you happen to enjoy this video, or indeed enjoy any of these games, please don't forget to click the like button on the video. Also, if you're new around here, you want to subscribe. We upload new videos every single day of the week, and our subscribers are obviously the first ones to see them. We hope you enjoyed this list of games. It's definitely worth trying out every single one of them, and we thank you very much for watching this video. Come back tomorrow for more. We will see you next time.